Imagine a battery that not only stores energy, but also serves as the very structure of the car. That's what Tesla is proposing with the Prism Core architecture, a system that seems to have emerged from a science fiction laboratory, but is now beginning to take shape behind the scenes in the automotive industry. The proposal abandons the traditional stacked cell model and relies on a formation inspired by three-dimensional crystalline structures, such as interconnected dodecahedrons. Instead of simple blocks, each cell behaves like a piece of a geometric puzzle, maximizing contact area and ion flow. It's a design that, just looking at it, breaks paradigms. These cells are not simple energy compartments. They are encased in an aluminum alloy with a chromatic layer, the so-called chroma layer, which boosts electrical conduction by up to 700%. But it doesn't stop there. Vibrating microactuators, smaller than a human hair in width, maintain a balanced internal movement of ions. This detail, almost invisible to the naked eye, prevents the formation of accumulation zones, which typically reduce battery efficiency over time. Here, the flow is continuous, fluid, and well-distributed, as if the battery had a life of its own. The structural change also completely redefines the logic behind car assembly. With the battery functioning as part of the chassis, there's no longer a need for extra supports or bulky protection modules. This represents a space saving, a significant reduction in overall weight, and of course, a new way of thinking about automotive safety. After all, the more rigid and integrated the vehicle's base, the greater its resistance to deformation in the event of an impact. And all this is achieved without taking up space in the trunk or cabin. From a practical standpoint, this translates into a lighter, faster, and more efficient car. A model like the future Tesla Model 2, equipped with this architecture, would have more agile acceleration, more precise braking, and optimized energy consumption. And we're not talking about a small improvement. With less mass for the engine to move, and a more stable base for the suspension and tires. Handling approaches what is currently only found in sports cars. And all this in a compact and affordable package, geared towards everyday use. Another interesting factor is how this intelligent structure interacts with safety. The geometry of the interconnected cells acts as a natural shield. If an impact hits the side, for example, the force is distributed throughout the polygonal mesh minimizing specific damage. This means the car better protects passengers without relying on heavy reinforcements. It's as if each battery cell knows its role within the system and works together to preserve the safety of all occupants. Furthermore, this change allows for much simpler maintenance. Because there are fewer modules and fewer parts involved, troubleshooting becomes faster and cheaper. Imagine going to the repair shop and discovering that the system has already identified and isolated a potential defect without having to disassemble half the car. This is the logic behind Prism Core. Efficiency, integration, and intelligence applied from the battery core to the driver experience. With energy losses reduced by up to 95%, the Prism Core battery also promises to be a revolution in durability. Less heat generated, less waste during charging, and much more energy available for actual use. This translates into greater range, fewer trips to the charger, and a battery that maintains stable performance over the years. For those who depend on their car every day, this predictability is golden. For those who are always on the go, it's freedom. And most curious of all, this new architecture isn't just about performance. It also redefines the concept of a family car, a lighter, safer vehicle with better range and lower maintenance costs, a car that takes care of the family without sacrificing comfort, space, or budget. This is where Prism Core stops being just a technical innovation and becomes a lifestyle proposition. Now that Prism Core's structure has been unveiled, it's time to dive into the specifications that are making engineers scratch their heads and enthusiasts hold their breath. The number that jumps out the most is the energy density of 2,000 dalilu per kilogram. This means that a battery of just 40 kilolius 
could weigh around 36 kilograms, less than a student's backpack full of books, and still offer a range of up to 1 to 200 miles, a figure that, until recently, would have been considered exaggeration or pure marketing. But now, it's backed by real physics, well-resolved mathematics, and laboratory tests that are beginning to point in that direction. Much of this density leap comes from the internal structure, called star weave. Instead of a smooth, uniform surface, the aluminum fibers are interwoven in a pattern reminiscent of a high-precision sponge. This interweaving creates a much larger active surface area where electrochemical reactions occur. More surface area means more reactions per second, resulting in greater energy storage and delivery. The analogy with activated carbon filters isn't far-fetched. The more porous the structure, the more efficient the process. And here, this detail is the secret to outperforming even the most advanced lithium batteries. If the storage is impressive, the charging is no slouch. The proposal is for a full charge in just five minutes. That's right, five minutes. For this to be possible, the battery would need to support peaks of up to 1 to 100 kilosiklatos of power, a figure that exceeds what an entire house consumes in a month. Of course, this would require specific infrastructure, such as energy buffers near charging stations, something Tesla is already developing with Megapacks. These would function like giant reservoirs, accumulating energy during periods of low demand and releasing it in bursts when needed. But there's no point in charging quickly if the battery can't handle the stress. That's where another seemingly exaggerated figure comes in, a lifespan of 30,000 cycles, equivalent to about 6 million miles or 40 years of intense use. It seems absurd, but there's a logic behind it. With lower internal resistance, charges generate less heat. Less heat, less stress on components. And if we add to this controlled current pulses, which keep the internal chemical structure in balance, wear becomes incredibly slow. The secret lies in balance, not brute force. This stability also eliminates the need for complex cooling systems. Instead of heavy liquid circuits and radiators, the battery stays within safe ranges with a lightweight thermal system, saving up to 40 pounds of weight. This means less complexity, less cost, and less risk of failure. The projected operating range is another surprise, from 94 degrees Breeders to 338 tonnes de. This covers everything from winter storms to burning deserts without compromising the car's performance or safety. But it's not just about power and durability. The intelligence embedded in this system also transforms the user experience. An algorithm called Time Warp AI can predict car usage based on the calendar, location, and even the driver's habits. It then preloads buffers, adjusts power delivery, and even synchronizes charging with times of lowest energy consumption. The result is a battery that seems to think before the owner, a kind of invisible assistant, always one step ahead. The issue of reliability is also crucial, and with a battery that promises to maintain 90-90% capacity, even after thousands of quick recharges, the car becomes a companion for decades. Imagine not having to worry about range even after 15 or 20 years of use. This not only reduces costs, but also changes the way people think about mobility. The car stops being a commodity to be replaced every five years and becomes a reliable platform, almost like a home appliance you know will always work. When we talk about embedded intelligence, many think of voice assistance or navigation systems. But what's being implemented in Tesla's new batteries goes far beyond that. The technology, dubbed space intelligence, isn't just energy management software. It observes the driver, literally, using sensors that detect steering pressure, heart rate, and even micro eye movements. The system interprets whether the driver is relaxed, rushed, or stressed. It then silently adjusts parameters such as power delivery, acceleration profile, and battery thermal regime, all without the user noticing. The impact of this on range is significant. With the system pre-acting before each sudden command, avoiding unnecessary power spikes, 
and optimizing coasting when the car rolls without accelerating, it is possible to achieve up to 40% more real autonomy without the driver needing to change their behavior. The car begins to anticipate the driver's intentions and softens their reactions. The result is much more efficient fuel consumption, especially on stop-and-go urban routes. It's not about saving energy through sacrifices, but rather about driving with greater automated intelligence. This layer of intelligence also contributes to durability. Because the battery is protected from unnecessary thermal and electrical stress, it ages more slowly. And with less accumulated heat, structural failures that typically arise over time are drastically reduced. The idea is simple, to keep the system always balanced, even in unpredictable scenarios. The cooling system itself, for example, has been redesigned. Instead of complex circuits, the new architecture uses heat dissipation pathways built into the cells, saving weight and space. When it comes to cost, the established goal is ambitious, to manufacture each battery pack for just $1,800, a value that, if realized, could put the Model 2 on the market with a base price of use 10000 But this figure is only possible thanks to the implementation of production techniques inspired by the semiconductor industry. With 99.9999% accuracy at every step, the margin for error virtually disappears. The use of lasers to assemble and align cells, combined with state-of-the-art automation, reduces losses, reduces scrap, and dramatically speeds up the production line. This cost reduction doesn't compromise quality. On the contrary, it requires even more rigorous quality control. Each cell is individually inspected by optical and thermal sensors, ensuring that everything is within microscopic tolerances. When the process is as precise as that of a computer chip, the final product achieves a level of reliability previously only possible in aerospace missions. Tesla's promise is clear to transform battery production into something as reliable as manufacturing a smartphone processor. Beyond the direct cost of the battery, there are also significant savings in total cost of ownership. Over a 25-year calculation, the owner of a Prism Core-equipped Model 2 is estimated to spend approximately US 10,000 with energy and maintenance. Against the US 50,000 that a regular gasoline car would accumulate in the same period. This difference comes not only from energy efficiency, but also from the low maintenance requirements and long lifespan of the system. A car that runs well for 30 or 40 years without requiring major interventions represents a new paradigm of mobility. Another point is that this longevity has a significant social impact. Longer lasting vehicles mean less waste, less new car production, and a more circular economy. Families could keep their vehicles for decades, passing them down from generation to generation as if they were durable, not disposable goods. This changes the way people relate to their cars, creating more lasting and emotional bonds with a machine that accompanies their stories throughout their lives. Even with all this onboard intelligence, there was still a silent enemy haunting rechargeable batteries, dendrites. These microscopic metallic structures form over time, like tiny needles growing inside cells, until they pierce the inner layers and cause short circuits. In some extreme cases, these dendrites are responsible for fires or serious battery failures. For decades, scientists around the world have sought ways to prevent this unwanted growth. But now, Tesla claims to have done something bolder, not just controlling dendrites, but virtually eliminating them with a technology called flux wall. This flow wall is an ultra-thin liquid crystal coating, just 0.8 nanometers thick, thousands of times smaller than the width of a human hair. Inspired by biological structures, it acts as a selective membrane, guiding aluminum ions through defined channels, preventing them from clustering at stress points. The beauty lies in the solution's simplicity. By maintaining uniform and continuous flow, the system prevents any zone from becoming a starting point for the emergence of one of these metal needles. What was once an inevitable threat 
is now a virtually extinct event. But it's not just the coating that makes this magic happen. Submicrosensors with a scale of 0.1 micrometers constantly monitor the cell's internal behavior. At the slightest sign of dendrite formation, literally at the embryonic stage of the threat, the system applies targeted micropulses that dissolve the beginnings of the structure before it can develop. This action is so fast and precise that the driver doesn't even notice anything has been corrected. The car simply continues operating as if nothing had happened, with the same reliability as always. According to laboratory data presented by Tesla, this approach is capable of eliminating 99, 999% of dendrite nucleation events. In practical terms, this means that batteries not only last longer, but also become much safer. And this safety is valuable not only for drivers, but also for those developing applications in extreme regions, such as deserts, polar regions, or places with electrical instability. The ability to operate safely between 70 Bridi Credi C.100 Puentfevidi makes this technology something almost unprecedented for everyday use anywhere in the world. The flux wall's self-sealing nature also ensures that the battery maintains its structural integrity even under intense temperature variations. When the temperature rises, the membrane expands slightly to redistribute the current. When it cools, it contracts again keeping everything in place. This microscopic elasticity is what prevents the system from wearing out over time, even during aggressive charge and discharge cycles. The result is a cell that breathes with use, adapting to environmental demands without losing performance. Another important detail is fire resistance. The material used in the coating is non-flammable and can withstand temperatures up to 260 degrees without structural degradation. This represents a safety leap, especially in accident or external failure scenarios. The battery remains isolated and functional even in emergency situations, reducing the risk of flame spread or explosions. This has direct implications for insurance costs, vehicle containment design, and overall consumer confidence. This type of solution also changes the production logic. With such a stable and reliable system, there's no longer a need to overprotect the battery with extra layers, exaggerated cooling systems, or metal reinforcements. This simplifies assembly, reduces weight, and makes the design more efficient from an engineering standpoint. It's as if the battery has learned to defend itself, eliminating the biggest vulnerability of older systems. And all this without sacrificing performance, capacity, or durability. The technical reliability of such a sophisticated system needs to be anchored in something even more solid, sustainability. And this is where aluminum, Prism Core's main player, shows its true strategic value. While lithium faces shortages, geopolitical instability, and complex environmental problems, aluminum is thriving. Global reserves of bauxite, the ore that produces aluminum, total approximately 29 billion tons against only 28 million tons of lithium. The difference is striking.